In this video, I'm going to solve a dynamics problem that involves a pulley. Two blocks are connected by a massless string that passes over a frictionless pulley. The coefficient of static friction between M1, mass 1, and the table is 0 0.45. The coefficient of kinetic friction is 0 0.35. Mass M1 is 45 kilograms and M2 is 12 kil kilograms. So we have a system of, of blocks here. So mass 1 and mass 2 and they're connected to each other uh, via a rope that passes over a frictionless pulley. Um, so part A of this question asks, is this system in static equilibrium? Explain. Um, so, so first off, what is static equilibrium? Uh, static equilibrium means that uh, the system is not moving. So the word static means something that's not moving. Um, so it's, it's asking basically is, are the blocks moving or are they stationary? Um, and so in order to find out, uh, we need to find out if the force of friction that this block experiences, so the static force of friction that it experiences, is greater than the gravity the force of gravity that this block experiences. To begin solving this problem, I'm going to start by drawing a free body diagram for each block. Um, and I'm just going to actually use the diagram that I have here. So for this block, the forces that are acting on it, so first we have force of gravity acting on it. So I'll call that FG1. There's also a normal force, Fn. So that's the force that the table is uh, pushing the box with. So since the box is on the table, um, it pushes the table and the, pu and the table pushes back. So that's Newton's third law. Um, and we also have a force of tension along the rope. So I'll call that FT. Um, and lastly, there is a, a force of friction. Um, and we're going to assume that it's static friction for now. Um, so I'm just assuming that it is in static equilibrium and the reason for that is because mass 1 is 45 kilograms while mass 2 is only 12 kilograms so I'm assuming because this weighs so much more that it's probably going to be very hard for this mass to be able to cause this mass to move because um, it just doesn't weigh enough. So that would be the free body diagram for mass 1. Now the free body diagram for mass 2 would be that there is a force of gravity on it, so Fg2, and there is tension as well, so same tension force as, as um, uh, mass 1 is experiencing. So the tension within the rope is the same. So anywhere Anywhere in the rope, the tension is the same. That's what we're assuming. Um, so now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find uh, the force of friction, um, the force of static friction that this block experiences. So, and so I'm going to put an S. Now, so to, to find the force of friction, remember that you need to take the coefficient of friction and multiply it by the normal force. And in this case, since this block is on a flat surface, the force of, uh, 
the, the normal force is equal to the force of gravity. And so to find um, to find the force of friction, the static force of friction, it's the coefficient of static friction multiplied by the gravity that the block is experiencing. And recall to, to find the force of gravity, you take the mass of the object and multiply it by g. And uh, so g is the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8. Uh, so mu s um, times um, m1 times g. So that's going to be 0 0.45. times 45 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared and that's going to equal 198.5 newtons okay so that's the static friction on uh, mass 1. Uh, now, now I'm going to find Fg2. So the force of gravity on M2. So Fg2. Uh, what I want to do is I want to compare these two. Um, so if, if Fg2 is greater than uh, the friction on block 1, uh, then I know that the system will move, the blocks will will accelerate. Um, but if the static friction on M1 is greater than the force of gravity on M2, then the system will remain stationary. Um, so finding the gravity, it's mass 2 times g. So mass 2 is 12 kilograms multiplied by 9.8, which is 117.6 newtons. So from this we can clearly see that um, Fg2 is a lot less than uh, the static friction on block one. So we can conclude that the system will be stationary. So since since the static friction is greater than Fg2, the system is in static equilibrium. Static equilibrium. So the blocks are stationary. Okay. So that's part A. So part B now is asking, determine the tension in the string. And so since we know that the blocks are not moving and block 2 is stationary, we can assume that Fg2 is going to equal Ft. So the, the tension here is going to equal Fg2 because there is no net force acting on M2. And so what we can write then is since M2 is not moving, Fg2 is equal to Ft 
Um, so Ft is going to equal what Fg2 was. So Fg2 is um, it was 117.6 newtons. Now, when writing the answers, uh, we have to make sure that we check what the number of significant digits should be. So in the question, all these numbers are to two significant digits. So, so this answer here, the tension, the value for the tension force, should all, also only have two significant digits. And so we're going to have to round this to 120 newtons. Okay. Um, so that would be the force of tension in the string. Um, so in the next video, I'm going to do part C. So this, this video um, became a little bit longer than I was expecting. So um, check out the next video to see the solution to part C. Thanks for watching.